Hi there, students. To housebreak, a verb, housebroken, an adjective. So, be careful with the housebreak as a verb because it has two completely different meanings. Let's see. Housebroken and as an adjective only has one. So, you can housebreak an animal. Is your dog housebroken? Yeah. Um, so, is it, a, uh, is it able to uh, urinate and excrete in a designated place or does it pee all over the carpet? Yeah, so um, if you, uh, once, once an animal is housebroken, then it's much better to, uh, much easier to have it as a pet. And then we can also use this uh, phrase to housebreak, meaning to teach somebody acceptable social manners. So with the dog or the pet, you're teaching it wh where to pee, yeah? You can housebreak a person. So, um, yeah, her new boyfriend was uh, r rather rough and ready, and uh, it took her some time to housebreak him, to teach him what was acceptable, to tame, to subdue somebody, okay? Um, so, yeah, is your husband housebroken? I would use the, this a, as a joke. And then, to housebreak, housebreaking, completely different, to break into people's houses in order to steal things, yeah? So, housebreaking, burglary, a housebreaker a burglary. This is somebody who breaks in. To break in is to break and rob a place. Yeah? Um, so, housebreakings are on the increase. Housebreakings have uh, dropped. Yeah? But housebroken. Yeah? Is your animal housebroken? Yeah? Do, does your cat use a litter box? Or does your dog wait until it's outside? You can also use the phrase house trained. Yeah? Is your pet house trained? And I think you could also use this uh, for people as well. So, yeah, be, before I got married, I was not h house trained at all. Yeah? I didn't have good behavior and good housekeeping habits. So, I wasn't really house trained leaving my stuff everywhere because, well, yeah, uh, to house train. So you house train an animal or you house break an animal. Yeah, this break has got the idea of to break a habit, to break a, a bad habit. Yeah, to domesticate, to tame, to subdue. Yeah, um, so she, uh, um, yeah, she, uh, he, uh, she took him to uh, a party with some of her posher friends to try and housebreak him, to get him accustomed to uh, what was socially acceptable. And then the other meaning of to housebreak, a housebreaker, somebody who breaks in. I think probably that, that, that meaning is more American. I think I would use to burgle or a burglar. Yeah, so a burglar is a housebreaker, housebreak, housebreak-ins, yeah? Um, okay, so you housebreak an animal. You get it to pee, in, uh, pee outside, or you get it to pee when you take it outside. But, yeah, to housebreak an unper unruly uh, uh, person, to subdue them, to domesticate them, to get them uh, used to what is socially acceptable or what is good and what goes on reasonably within a certain group of people. So, enough. Well, oh, formality. Sorry, I missed that. Um, okay, is your dog housebroken? Five in formality. Use anywhere. Is your husband housebroken? This is more of a joke. Four in formality. Don't use in something very formal. And then a housebreaker. This is American. I would say a burglar. Mm, five in formality. Use anywhere. And I guess, well, to break, you break somebody's spirit, you tame them, yeah? And then to break into a house, these are the origins, a housebreaker, because they break into houses. So, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. To housebreak.
are a housebreaker, housebroken. 